I'll tell you how you can become financially independent. How you can see to it that you'll never have to worry about an income again as long as you live. Hello, this is Earl Nightingale, and I want to take just 13 minutes of your time to tell you about the most interesting and successful people in the world, the people who belong to the top 5%. I believe it's a group you'll want to belong to also. First, let me explain who belongs to this group now, and it's right here that you may as well prepare yourself for a shock. I want you to get a mental image of 100 young men standing in a line. These men are all 25 years of age. The world is ahead of them. Each of them has as much opportunity as the rest. They live in the richest country on earth, truly a land of abundance. Now, answer this question. What will have happened to these 100 young men by the time they're 65 years of age? In other words, let's turn the clock ahead 40 years. What do you think will have happened to these 100 men who started even at age 25? It's interesting, isn't it? Well, here are the statistics. By the time they're 65, one will be rich. Four will be independent for life. Five will be working. 36 will be dead. 54 will be dependent. Let me repeat those figures so that you can get them firmly in your mind. 40 years after 100 young men start even at age 25, one is rich, four are independent, five will be working, and all the remaining survivors, 54, will be dependent on others or an agency for their support. So 5% makes the grade in life. This is the top 5%, and hence the title of this record. To ask you if you want to belong to the top 5% is really unnecessary. Of course you want to belong, and perhaps you already belong. When you discovered that only 5% of our people make the grade financially, were you shocked? You should have been, because this is really a serious indictment. Look at it this way. If you practiced playing the piano 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, for 40 years, I know you'll agree that you would be an accomplished pianist. Or what if you practiced anything, eight hours a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year for 40 years? Medicine, law, selling, agriculture, teaching, carpentry, writing, anything at all. In 40 years, you can become an expert at anything, right? Of course. Well, the 54 men out of 100 who arrive at age 65 without having become financially independent in the richest land in the world have worked in our economy eight hours a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year for 40 years, and haven't figured out in that length of time how to be financially independent for the remaining and certainly the best years of their lives. Why? How is this possible? Financial independence is certainly not a matter of luck. It's a simple matter of planning. How much money do you suppose the average man earns in 40 years? Well, going by present statistics, a man of even very average income should earn in excess of $200,000. That's a fifth of a million dollars. That's a fortune. Where does it all go? Well, while you're pondering this question, let me tell you what the experts say. They say that only 5% makes the grade because that's the group that does not conform. That's the group that does not follow the crowd. Let's take a quick look at conformity today and see what it can mean. If we conform, that is, if we act like everybody else, the odds are about 95 to 5 that we'll miss the boat too. Why do people conform? Well, not too long ago, the great Nobel Prize winning Dr. Schweitzer was asked in London, Doctor, what's wrong with men today? And the great doctor replied, men simply don't think. And that's the answer. Men conform because it seems like the easy thing to do, and because they've been taught to conform. From the time they were born, all through school, they were told what to do. They wanted to be liked, to belong to the group. They dressed, played, and acted like the other children. They didn't want to be different because children are sometimes cruel to those who are different. They spent, let's say, at least 18 years learning to conform to their group. Then came the service. Again, they were told what to do. 
again they must conform. Suddenly, a man is out of service, out of school, and on his own for the first time. Now, what's the most natural thing in the world to do? Right, it's to look around and see what the other fellows are doing. Since we've always been told what to do, why should we start thinking for ourselves at age 25? So he gets a job, and again looks around to see how the other fellows are doing their jobs. Now since it seems to be a part of human nature to do no more than a person has to in order to get the weekly paycheck, again he conforms. Now we know he has 40 years to become great at what he does. Plenty of time. But does he do it? Not if he follows the crowd. Not unless he decides to join the top 5%. If we follow the crowd, we haven't got a chance. If we think independently and follow our good ideas with action and stay with it, nothing in the world can keep us from succeeding. Now, if you don't mind turning this record over, I'll tell you how you can become financially independent. How you can see to it that you'll never have to worry about an income again as long as you live. Now let's look at the big picture calmly and analytically. Since statistics prove only 5% makes the grade financially in a country where there's more than enough to go around, all the rest must be doing something wrong. And what do the leading educators and experts say is wrong with most people today? They just don't think for themselves. They simply do not look at life as a complete thing with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Well, it's obvious then that if we don't want to conform, because by conforming we miss the financial boat, we must think. We must think now before it's too late. There are only two things that can contribute to financial success. The first is the work we do for a living, and the second is the amount of money we save, since it's only by saving money that it can be accumulated and put to work for us. You see, by logically following the whole thing through step by step we get rid of all confusion doubt and guesswork and we're left with two jobs that anyone can handle one the work we do for a living and two the money we can save now let's take them in order first the job naturally I have no way of knowing what it is you do for a living or what your circumstances happen to be but more than 20 years of research have proved one thing no matter what your job may be at this moment, it holds the key to your future. It contains the road to greatness if it's handled in a certain way. There's no such thing as a job that is not loaded with hidden opportunities. From checking hats to laying bricks, from working in a factory to selling shoes, whether you work for someone else or for yourself, there is hidden in your daily work more opportunity than you could develop in a lifetime. If you will look for it. How many ideas do you think you could get in a single day if you really started to think? Five? Twenty? A hundred? Well, have you ever stopped to think that one idea can make you rich 